Well, I've got to dive back into Assassin's Creed Shadows because more things are coming out uh, as we speak. Artwork or the sword that has been used for Yasuke seems to be taken from One Piece and there's much more going on at a convention right now over Ubisoft telling people that they need to watch their event instead of the Nintendo one next door and using their seats to sit on. Okay, well that part place, putting this up, Assassin's Creed Shadows accused of using Zoro's sword from One Piece and props from Amazon as official artwork. I hinted on this at the barbecue video that I did talking about uh, how the Japanese government is in, kind of investigating the scenario of what's going on with Assassin's Creed Shadows, how it's very much similar to what's happened here with the Egypt show that was on Netflix uh, over Cleopatra. Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shadows are being accused of using One Piece's Zoro's Katana as well as props pur purchased from Amazon as official artwork for the game. So you can see here this one particular uh, stand here with the characters. Those same characters you can go and find on Amazon. It's absolutely ridiculous to see that they're just using things that are on Amazon, that are recreations. They're not anything special. There's something that is just being taken and they're bringing this entire game down so many notches and yet they're spending millions of dollars on this. They, they've spent millions on bringing in specialists to try and prop up this game. Well, maybe maybe those specialists also bought their degree on Amazon because that's what it looks like right now. They're more focused on the, the message of the game than being focused on what you're seeing in the game. You, we've already got uh, Ubisoft apologizing for steal uh, recreationist flags from and putting them in the game that had nothing to do with Japanese culture. They were a group that just made their own flag for a recreation of the time and then they went and put it in there. This is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Now on top of all of this we have Grums reporting this is today while I'm filming it. Um, just got a report from someone at Japan Expo. Ubisoft staff are asking anyone using the seats at Assassin's Creed Shadows booth to turn around and face their screen. Of course they want good PR. They want good things. Now this is Grums. Um, we've gone back and forth with this a little bit much and I don't take everything that is said online with face value, but this is pretty telling at that point that this game, people are not happy with it. People were using the benches to watch the more popular Nintendo booth across the way. Nobody cares about Ubisoft. And you can see there's a few pictures here, Ubisoft staff, and you can see they're not really see there's the Nintendo one in the background so they're telling people apparently to face the other way where their screen is I think this is poor planning and you know what there's a much bigger screen across the way I think this is really poor planning at an expo to put a booth like this right across from Nintendo Nintendo is going to be way bigger than Ubisoft right now they are the number one company in Japan when it comes to this type of thing you can see everyone's more focused on what's going on the opposite way you got smash brothers in the background there so not only do you have the front and center stuff for the nintendo stuff but there's also more nintendo stuff in the background so this is like putting david versus goliath right next to each other you've got david everyone can see him there and uh, or you got goliath everyone can see him standing there and david being ubisoft at this point getting completely owned by that but of course they're going to try and throw some stones and in another shot of Assassin's Creed Shadows booth, they are showing exclusive gameplay, but but it's the same video they already posted on YouTube. If you stay till the very end, they're giving you a swag. Stay for the swag as long as you watch our booth. And you can see, telling from this picture here, you can see there's like th three people watching the Ubisoft stuff. And then if you turn around and you've got hundreds well you got tens now you know what there's probably about 100 people there there's probably about 100 people standing there watching the nintendo booth and the ubisoft booth is just off screen here so i'm not surprised to hear all of this is you know people are saying the game's doa i bet it's trash um you've got the change.org petition which if we go to that it's oh, how many 85,000 signatures have signed this japanese petition right now 
I, the bag of goodies is just a pile of crap. You know, I miss booth babes. Well, yeah, but this is also in Japan. I don't think they have that westernized culture over there. And it's a loss for Ubisoft at this bag of goodies. A note begging you to use Epic Games, some stickers that last for uh, last less than 24 hours on, and a sticky notepad that only gives you 20 pages. Ubisoft would be broke without Epic Games paying them. I dread to see that they're doing uh, what they're doing to Beyond Good and Evil too they are remaking that i just recently spoke about how beyond good and evil they put up a trigger warning in the game so this is just another notch in their belt for ubisoft how this game people just are not interested in it they've they've completely ruined their own franchise by pushing agenda driven gameplay by pushing agenda driven narratives in a time of history that could have been very immensely immersed into the uh, Japanese culture. And obviously we get a guy running around in a samurai suit, slashing and hacking people's heads off to hip hop music. What kind of game are they really pushing here? And I think the narrative behind the game is absolutely one that people do not want. Now I gotta say Assassin's Creed Shadows, what's going on here with Yasuke being the main protagonist is probably not going to be the, in the top 10 of things wrong with this game. This game is gonna come out and it's probably going to be an optimized mess of a game. We're going to probably have a day one patch. You're going to have so many other things that are going to prop up showing how poorly optimized this game is and how bad it's going to be. I wouldn't be surprised to hear of any of that, but we will have to wait to see, especially wait to see who is the narrative design um, sensitivity readers behind this game. Anyway, I'm your Prime Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification as well. Come back and we will see you once again very soon.